When you're in a ghetto, man, there is no rules. Look at this dude on a motorcycle just driving next to people, creating his own lane. <laughs> Hello. Do you have a mouth? Do you know how to talk? Very curious as to how the mattresses ended up outside. I don't know if it was a nice day and the tenant decided to sleep outside, do a little camping trip in his driveway, but who knows? Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little paint, a little carpet. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? What the fuck, man? Eddie, call the They customize t-shirts, design business cards, huh? Look at that, nothing sketchy about that business. They even got the barbecue grill on the outside. As you can see, we got our film crew walking up right now to a house that had a recent eviction. Uh, the tenant was forced to leave. This is everything fucked. Look at these pots and pans. This dude told me he couldn't turn in keys because he got injured while cleaning. I don't know if you know what the word cleaning is, but this ain't it. Very curious as to how the mattresses ended up outside. I don't know if it was a nice day and the tenant decided to sleep outside, do a little camping trip in his driveway, but who knows. I don't know what's going on in the kitchen, yo. What up? But what happened to the ceiling, dog? Where's the ceiling at? Oh, as you can see, this is where the mattress was originally before it ended up outside. As you can see, we got some newer vinyl windows in this rental. I uh, haven't seen any broken ones yet. This one looks a little grimy though. Probably never cleaned since this tenant moved in. I don't know how long the tenant was here, but I don't think they cleaned these windows once. Oh, I guess I spoke too soon earlier because here's the first broken window. It's not even, the window's not even just broken. It's out of the framing of the window itself. Oh, these stairs, holy smokes. Where's the mice at, dude? Right? Well, they're around. Fucking carpets tore up to shit. Like, dude, were people walking on this shit barefoot? Sit on a couch. Stay calm, for. I hate you.
like how this guy. Yeah, what the fuck is that? I like dude? how this guy on the motorcycle is just driving in between people. When you're in the ghetto, there is no rules. So what is it? There's a couple apartments in the front and a couple in the back, or what? Yeah. First little paint. <laughs> yeah. A little paint, a little carpet. Holy shit. Windows. Hello. Do you have a mouth? Do you know how to talk? I need their information, dog. Going on in the kitchen, yo. What up? But what happened to the ceiling, dog? Where's the ceiling at? Walking upstairs, you can see this carpet is certainly in a lot better shape than the previous house. Uh, not perfect. I don't know if it'll be, have to be replaced or not, but it's not anywhere close to that last house. So far, everything up here doesn't look terrible. I mean, it just needs some uh, cleaning, some sprucing up, maybe a little bit of holes here and there need to be patched up that we can't see. And up, oh, I spoke too soon. Looks like the ceiling's gone in this one too. You can see it all over the floor. What is with these people? They just hate ceilings, I guess. Man, another ceiling as you can see in this room. I would have personally taken out the wall instead of the ceiling. I don't know, the white ceiling didn't wasn't what was bugging me. It was more of the yellow walls that would have gotten to my head a little more. So there was something in here? I, I don't think so, not just now. I don't think no Unless they, they could have ran out. I didn't, I didn't. I doubt it. We do have some shit in here. Safe to go to the second floor? Yeah, it is. Woo! Got a little raccoon piece of I'd rather not see him. Raccoons are like a Oh yeah, I'd love to live here. Toilet or two. Yeah, we'll have to stun the chip. Here there's some holes in the floor. Oh, yeah, I don't think y'all can do it, huh? Y'all can sell it? Oh, I'm sure. Huh? I'm sure we could sell it. Oh, okay. It is a little rough, obviously. Yeah. point out some things that could be improved. Hey, uh, we can mud that over. <laughs> some new windows. It's got a huge lot. Mm -hmm. The brick looks pretty nice still. Going college. Oh, is it? Yeah. The county or the, like, does it have a mortgage on it? County. County? Well, 
that's why you said don't worry about it. Party up here? Huh? Somebody's party up here? Right. Hey. Looks like this is where the majority of the stuff is down here in the basement. There's a lot of stuff in this corner right here. Yeah, so which house do you think costs more to renovate in order to put the next tenant in there? Uh, let's see it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on a Tenants from Hell show. What are the positives about this building, John? It's a large... Six unit? Six unit. Location. <laughs> Location. Up and coming neighborhood. Oh, shit. Great neighbors. Gets quiet. <laughs> you have lots of uh, room for activities. <laughs> Comes with parts of a ceiling fan. Yeah. It's got some, you know, historical woodwork and molding in it. Hardwood floors in most of the house. There's no bathrooms at all, no kitchen at all. They already been good enough. Yeah. That's right, we came up these stairs, didn't we? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.